Today on Miniature Mashup, we turn these into this. Stick around and find out how. If you're like me, you have a big stack of cereal boxes in your home in case you have to boil them and eat them in the near future. If you eat the Fiber One box, it actually has less fiber and tastes a little bit better than the cereal inside it. They call it Fiber One because it turns your colon into a torpedo bay. Fiber One. We all love laser cut terrain, but it isn't exactly the cheapest option. And when you buy laser cut terrain, you're really paying for the design, which doesn't really involve any labor. So can we recreate this aesthetic with our own designs and cheaper material? In my last video, I did something similar with electrical pylons. This week, a friend and neighbor helped me out by producing my design on her Cricut cutting machine. So a very quick special thank you to Christy over at Glimmer Fay Creations. I'm leaving a link to her website so you can check it out. She makes all kinds of fairy and fantasy themed crafts, ornamentation, and jewelry. It's very high quality stuff, perfect for cosplaying or the dance floor. But that cricket saved me hours of tedious cutting work so I could get right to the assembly. Of course, this can be done by hand. Uh, the only critical part is that you have this kind of a design and you can just use this stencil. I'll be putting my design for this project up on the Miniature Mashup Facebook page so you can download it and use it as a stencil yourself if you'd like to do this project yourself at home. There will also be pictures of this project and many others there, so uh, go ahead and check that out too when you get the chance. Once you have your cardboard cut out, that's about 90% of this project. You're gonna need a hot glue gun for assembly. I also use some craft sticks some trash foam from an egg carton, a little bit of craft sand and flock, and something for a base. And that's it. Christy was kind enough to send me some footage of the Cricut machine cutting out my designs from the cardboard. As you can see, it's a really neat process, very precise. I've got to get myself one of these myself. I think this would be a really great tool for making all kinds of uh, fantasy and science fiction terrain for your tabletop games. I mean, look at how neat this is. Just the towers come right out. All the different sides, you glue it together, it's like an instant model kit. All laser cut terrain is this, but a little bit thicker, and if you're only seeing the outside, I'm not sure why thickness matters. I've also cut out a floor for the tower, which is just a 2x2, two two, as you'll see, and I'll put that in about halfway with the hot glue. I'm going to start by taking two sides of these towers and just gluing them together with the hot glue. You might want to wear some gloves for this. Um, I've been using a hot glue gun forever, so... I'm okay, but you'll see me doing very stupid things. I don't burn my hands, but it would be very easy to burn your hands doing this project. And not at this moment here where I have the two tower halves laid out on my work surface, but when I'm holding it later on in my hand and, and putting hot glue in there, that's real dumb. So just be careful. Now after I've got two of the walls, I start with a, a side and the front. I'm just gonna put the floor in. So it gives us a little structure and it makes putting on the last two pieces that much easier. And again, this is all just going in with hot glue so it assembles very quickly. All of this is pre-measured out and fits together. Very efficient. And we just start putting those other sides on as well. As you can see, with just three sides, it's already starting to take shape. It already looks like what we want it to look like. Pretty amazing for what is just a cut up cereal box, am I right? A little more hot glue and then we put on that last final wall and we've got our tower here. You could very simply glue this to a base, hit it with a little spray paint and rig up a roof and you'd have a perfectly suitable bit of terrain here. But I'm gonna take it a little bit further, of course, as we do a miniature mashup. I do want you guys to be impressed with our projects, so I try to make it as fancy pants as possible. <clears throat> now, I want to hide the joints where the corners of this tower are. You can see uh, where the cardboard meets and where there's hot glue there. And it looks a little bit more impressive if we cover those. And the method I do use to do that is I just cut the corners off of cardboard boxes and then I just glue them onto the corners of <clears throat> our tower here, keeping them all the same length. It just makes everything look like it's not just stamped out of the same sheet of metal and it hides those sort of unseemly joints it looks uh, much much better adds a little thickness to it it's it's just a very good effect that comes across when you do it this way and uh this here is grover showing us his tummy <clears throat> now i have a bunch of these yellow stars they come from a classroom setting uh they're just sort of like awards for being a good kid or whatever i don't know something teachers used to track 
I got these for free. Someone was uh, tossing a bunch of stuff out, and I picked them up. Old school Soviet Union ornamentation here. A uh, nice big star on the tower. Now, I'm also going to add a little bit of a wood texture. So, we're taking some craft sticks. Only need about two or three for this project. Not too many, not a lot of surface to cover here with this. So, of course, we're going to start with our wood gouging tool to give the wood a little texture, make it look a little more interesting. I say rustic. Um, not necessarily the case in this that we're going for rustic, but just a little more weathered and beat up. And we're going to cut it so that it fits between our corner pieces and it hides that cardboard there. I'm going to texture it up and hide it. And also, now for this, uh, if you have some zip ties, they'll work as well. I have some of these uh, sort of pull devices from uh, some toys I got, some Beyblade Shogun Warriors. These were a buck a pop at uh, the Dollar General. I've been sitting on these for years. Never really came up with a good craft project for them. But the, uh, the sort of pull string things that make uh, the little, little toys run around or whatever they do, those uh, also had a great sort of metal texture, a little thickness uh, to the center of our tower here. I'm just going to glue that on with a little E6000 and try to hold it in place. Obviously, it, it's a little bit bent, so it needs to be worked and held in as it dries. But once it does, it really adds uh, a nice effect. It gives it... Again, we're just trying to make it look less flat, this whole thing. The more that we can create the illusion that this is more than just a few pieces of cardboard, the better. <clears throat> now, for a base, you can use just about anything. Uh, it's such a light project. I've got a bunch of Arcane Armies bases. Uh, actually, not from things I bought. Some viewers sent them to me. And uh, trying to find use for them is not the easiest, but this is perfect. The perfect size for my little tower here and I'm just hot gluing this down to the arcane army space of course I'm gonna add a little PVA glue and some craft sand and some flocking as well the roof is just a couple of pieces of foam cut off of a 12 pack egg carton and I hot glued that together and I smeared the hot glue down and once again I've covered the corner part of the roof with a little bit of cardboard from um, a cereal box I will then, of course, texture, cut a few slats into it to make it look more like a segmented roof. And I paint that by hand. Because it's foam, I don't want to use spray paint. I paint that by hand, but then I do prime the entire tower. Uh, I think I went with a black and a dry brush, a little metal on there. I actually mix up sort of a brown, rusty metal color. Uh, that's sort of a brown, metallic silver, a little bit of black. And I just go over everything. And then I just go over this tower repeatedly to kind of get a weathering effect. Of course, a little bit of brown on the wood and some dry brushing to bring out the details. I uh, put a little bit of a dark brown wash in there. I also freehand a little bit of segmentation on the support poles and uh, get in on that star with some highlighting and just a little bit of layering here to sort of really make that pop. And once our craft sand has dried, we're going to go in and add a little bit of green um, scenic flock to it. Overall, guys, I think this turned out quite well. As you can see, four space marines fit up in this tower pretty well. It's a little snug for them. Obviously, something like Guardsmen, you could fit a few more, and it would look a little more natural. Um, or orcs or something like that. But this works really nice with some industrial terrain that I've made all around it and in the background. I think this comes across very well. Hard to believe this is just a cereal box uh, a few days ago. Extremely cheap and easy model to make. Guys, if you enjoyed this, please check out our Facebook page. I'll put the link for that in the description below. If you'd like to support this channel, consider donating to my GoFundMe. The link for that is also in the description below. As always, thank you for watching. Please uh, come on back soon. Thanks. Bye.